Uh, here's something kind of interesting. This is my uh, my Jewel Thief test bed with the 2N2222 transistor in there and uh, a 70 nanofarads of capacitance that I can switch uh, either across or out of, uh, either across the uh, the 1K base resistor or out of the circuit altogether. And for the coil, I'm using a loop stick variable inductor um, that I've wound with an outer primary of about 30 turns of uh, number 22 magnet wire. Okay, so I've got the, the two loop stick coils are underneath all of this. You can see their wire down in there. There's That's Litz wire spooled around the core of the loop stick, and the loop stick itself has a, uh, a ferrite core that can slide in and out. Okay, And the way I've got it hooked up right now, the position of the ferrite core doesn't make uh, a lot of difference, although I can see some changes in the light, brightness of the light at just a very specific point. I can't quite get it to show up on the camera here. This is my LED array. It's uh, from a, ripped out from a flashlight. It's a series parallel array. It's, I, uh, when I ripped it out of the flashlight, it was all 24 LEDs in strict parallel. But I've changed it now so that I have uh, uh, two groups of 12 LEDs in, the, in parallel, and those two groups are connected in series. So it's a series parallel array of uh, 24 LEDs. Okay, and it's glowing pretty damn bright and has been all uh, all day since since yesterday evening in fact but here's the interesting thing it does not work with just the base resistor uh, all other jewel thief variants that I've tried do work with only the base resistor and the addition of the 70 nanofarads across the base resistor makes a difference in the light but here if I switch to just the base resistor I get nothing, and it doesn't matter where I have the variable inductor set either. But uh, I have to go back to the um, <laughs> to the 79 for cap across that resistor to get the the bright lights there. And another thing that's very interesting is that periodically this display uh, dims, and then. Just, all I have to do is just flick the switch just for a moment like that and it comes back on to full brightness again and stays fully bright for, uh, for another long time, hours um, or so, just with that little flick of the switch like that. And I don't know how to explain that. Now, when, if, I take the, if I take the loop stick and reverse the coils so that the outer coil is over here and the inner coil is over here, then I do get a really profound effect of playing with the position of the of the uh, the core inside the loop stick. Uh, I don't know, I, I probably I don't know if I can show that or not. I might be able to uh, with one hand if I reverse these two wires here. That will move let's see if I take that wire out this wire over there. I'll try this with one hand. And then put this wire over here. Now I've reversed the position of the two coils. Okay. And the light right now is a little bit dimmer. And it does work now. You see it does work with the switch uh, without the capacitor, just the base resistor. And in fact, at this setting, there's almost no difference in the functioning of the lights. But if I slide the, the variable inductor in so that it's at its maximum inductance, now these lights are quite a bit dimmer. And it still, still works with both switch settings. If I pull the loop stick core out, there it's all the way in, there it's coming out, there it's all the way out. I get the lights pretty bright, but there's no effect of the switch. Okay, so I don't know how to interpret this. Um, 
It's a matter of inductances and whether the primary is on top or bottom, uh, rather closer to the core or further away from the core. It's uh, kind of a conundrum to me. But I'm getting really good at operating this stuff with just one hand. See there? Now that's really bright. And in this position, the position of the variable uh, core in the loop stick doesn't make a difference. But whether or not I'm using the 70 nanofarad makes a huge difference. <laughs> More Jewel Thief peculiarities. Thank you for watching.